What's up, YouTube? It's your girl back at it again with Banner Saga. One, in fact, with this nice, cozy little Viking town here with my boy. Uh, which which boy is it? Ivor. Ivor. We saved Ivor. Oh, all my boys are hurting. I'm so sorry that I showed this, guys. I, I I'm really bad at this game right now. I am so sorry. I apologize. <laughs> But yeah, if you enjoy Let's Plays, if you enjoy playthroughs of games, if you enjoy stuff that's kind of re-uploaded, re make sure you hit the subscribe, follow, you know, whatever. If you're new around here, do do your thing. Do your thing. Okay, guys? Now let's let's get going. Let's, let's get going. I'm actually kind of... I want to look at these items real quick. What did I get? Vardoon Silver Brooch. Strength Resistance. Break. Oh my god. Plus three break. Hold up. That'd be really good on Nid. It'd also be really good with Alette. Because Alette's... Like, Ranger... Having it on Rangers would be really cool. I would love to have it on him. Can't I can't promote him, though. I don't have the money for it. <sighs> I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry, dude. I don't have the, the supplies for this shit, too. This is terrifying. Well, okay. Let's let's leave. Let's get going. Back back down on the Oregon Trail, baby. Back down the Oregon Trail. You can you get repos, but but I ain't you ain't them. Depending on the condition, breath of fire can go for a hundred dollars plus. So getting one, yeah, no, for seventeen, that would be amazing. So someone's been nicking extra goods from the supplies. A concerned woman tells you. Counted these myself yesterday. No mistake. This if this keeps up, we'll be starving before long. Post a few extra guards to watch the supplies. Ask clansmen if they've seen any supplies. Announce that any more <laughs> missing supplies results in rationing. Tell me if you see it again. No. Post extra guards. We're going to take this seriously. We, we need this shit. To deter further theft, you discreetly place some trusted guards by the caravan. You hear a few people casually point out the extra manpower, but nobody seems to raise the alarm for now. Yeah, they... Oh my god, the music is getting loud. Let me turn it down a little bit. Gather round. Doubters echoes a shout in the distance as Kramer and his band of warriors break through nearby foliage. Oh, he's back. He survived. That's crazy. And behold, the invincible Varl. The caravan is thrilled to see Kramer return safely. That's awesome. Did the plan work? Asks Ubin. Work? Responds Kramer. Of course it worked. Some old dredge should be another day or two. At least before they find, before they even find our own asses. That's funny. And if you apologize, I'll tell you how I found these. Kramer t says, tossing you a pair of leather gloves that look big enough for a varl. He leans in close, whispering so Ubin can't hear. Had something to do with the raven's nest and a hair tie. Nice. <laughs> Enjoy the lurk, Godzilla. I got I got a new guy in the welcome. I hope you're doing well, baby. Um, I want to level him up, right? Because I can make him a, a breaker. Two more points available. Ooh, what do we want? More willpower would be cool. Genuinely, I think willpower is the, the play. What anime? Do, 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 do. Let me get the more willpower. We're going to try that. Those gloves, what are they? What do they do? Plus three strength. Oh my god. That's crazy. I, I don't even have the availability to use it, but that's we have that now. That's awesome. And we got so much more renown. Life is good. Life is good. As Sigurholm approached us, we fear the worst. The once calm lake surrounding it now looks like a bowl that has been flit. Proud home sinking into muddy water. Side effect of the quake. Quake we are finally here at Sigholm. Come on the other side of those mountains. I love how you can make out the characters in the front that are like the actual party members that we have. Like you can make out Kramer, Ganulf. You can make everybody out. You don't know the actual name in, in English. <laughs> nice. The online shopping one. Is it the one with the wolf or whatever? I think I watched that one. 
one catastrophe to another. It says Oddleaf as you pull in to Sig home. The town appears to be sinking into the lake. Townspeople peek from dark windows and makeshift hovels further up the hill. No, says Ivan. Look fr frantic. Looking frantic. Where is she? He runs to the front of the caravan, looking out and over the water. Juno isn't here, and you get the creeping feeling that you aren't welcome either. Damn, this music's crazy. I like it. Thanks, Pookie. Love you, Pookie. Sleep. Have fun with your fun anime. Going upriver looks... Looks out of the question. The beach is bare, aside from the occasional skeleton of a ruined fishing boat. You reluctantly set up camp in the sinking town. Oh no. All I am saying is how long are you willing to wait? While taking stock stock of caravan, you inadvertently walked into a debate between Oddleaf and Ivan. As long as we need to. And I think we need to get out of here. I don't have a good feeling about this place. Why? What's wrong? Something doesn't feel right. The people here are staring at us like those vultures in the waste. Sorry, Ivan. I think Oddleaf's right. I saw a man the whole time we were setting up. He was just watching me. Oh, God. Uh, in a creepy way. Not my daughter. How long before the dredge find us here? Juno will come. Just give it a little bit more time. Rook, listen to me. I need you to trust me on this. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck this. What do they have to sell? Can I buy some... Can I buy some supplies? Oh, these supplies suck. I have to spend so much just to, like, survive another couple nights. Like, all my money. Ugh, gross. I'll say five renown. Okay. What does... What does Ivan have to say? You're really worried about her, aren't you? Wait, what? Oh, Juno? Worry doesn't begin to describe it. If she doesn't find us here... Or something has happened to her. Are you sure what you saw was real? It could have been a dream. Or, I don't know, you were pretty fucking exhausted, dude. I don't know. To be honest, I'm not sure anymore. Everything is a blur. Um, don't tell the others I said that. I have to hope it wasn't just a dream. What's it like to be a mender? Being a mender? I guess I never really thought about it like that. It's just a part of me. They knew very young that I would join the order. Born into it, you could say. My mother, my father, both menders. The guild is for lots of peop people now, builders and healers. Do they all pull lightning out of the sky? No, 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 not at all. That's I'm, I'm Jesus Christ. It's one of the reasons why I know Juno. She's one of the council. She helps me control things like this, so we don't end up scaring people. How exactly does weaving work anyway? Well, the hardest part is usually seeing the thread. Everything is part of a tap the tapestry. It's made of threads woven together. If you can see the threads, you can manipulate them. Huh, okay, that's really trippy. How that magic system might work, okay. I don't know how to explain it really. It's like trying to play, play a harp with invisible strings. Look at my staff, for example. Some menders carve intricate patterns in the wood to help them remember the shapes of, er, like I said, hard to explain. <laughs> Why is Balor still following us? I saw Grafheim as it burned. Ivan gets a faraway look in his eyes. The sunder blew through it like a tempest. The Varl fell in the thousands. Most of the sunder left the city and headed south. Okay. Who knows where they are now? They might be destroying every town they come to, or heading towards Ardenburg. Balor stayed in Grafheim just for the sport of it, I think. As we fled to Irontoff, I thought I thought he must want to wipe the Varl off the map completely, but then he came after us. Maybe he knew Ivor was the one who killed Raze. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe, but I just just make sure he doesn't catch up. Do you think this is the end of time? I, I don't know what to think. I wish I could give you a better answer. Even if we escape the dredge, the serpent said a darkness was covering the world. I don't know how long it will that will take, or what it even means. I'm just trying to solve one problem at a time. The menders aren't Ardenburg. If we can find the chips and make it to the capital, we may have a chance for it. Okay. We'll take up any more of your time. No, it's okay, Rook. I appreciate the talk. It's good to stay grounded. I spend all day worrying about the serpents or Sunder. I think a lot of people are intimidated or scared, maybe, of me. Don't worry. It's nothing new. I'm used to it. 
maybe sometime we can talk about all the things that don't include the world ending. Well. Well, the world could end. Shit. A scuffle has broken out in front of the houses. Thief shouts one of your people as a group of strangers flee from your camp. Oddly, already running in their direction. They took our supplies. You hear from nearby. Chase the thieves. Try to talk it out with the locals. Tell the caravan to get ready to leave immediately. Fuck, what do I want to do? Because Bellower's on our tail. Bellower is not going to... He's. It only takes two days for him to catch up. Shit. Fuck. I'm between three and four. Right now. I'm not sure what I want to do. Uh... You just don't have that much supplies. That's why I'm like worried about. Okay, we'll stay. We'll we'll trust. I really. Mm. Uh, we're we're gonna trust. Minus five supplies. Let them go. You shout before anyone rushes off. Better keep what we have. Th better keep what we have than chase after something that's gone. <coughs> Townspeople continue to peek out from the windows and around the corners, but nobody makes another swipe at your supplies. Shit. Random assortment of people from the caravan confront you. Listen, says one. We don't feel safe here. I don't know anything about menders or whatever, but we're going to leave and I hope you'll join us. Looks like a couple dozen people, farmers and fighters alike, feel the same way. Encourage them to stay. No, I'll wish them well. They can leave if they want. You give them your blessing, but explain why you can't leave just yet. You don't know where they're going, but hope you'll meet meet them again in the roads as they start to trek back across dry land. I mean, that gives us more supplies. Um, how long do I have to wait? Everybody's fully healed now. I'm kind of scared now. Um, We have to leave. Rook, wait, please. Ivan begs. She said she'd be here. We need her. You can tell he's terrified of leaving, though he has to give up. Though he'd... As though he'd be giving up on Juno. Okay, just a little longer. Tell Ivan you'll stick it, stick it out a little longer, but you're not certain how long you're willing to wait yourself. Every day becomes more and more precious. Oh, fuck, dude. People are starving. She's not coming. We have problems, says Ivor. The whole place is flooded. We could try to walk the muddy parts, but it'll be slow going. We could try to float the caravan over the lake, but we might tip or get stuck. Or we could just go around the whole thing, but no idea how long that'll take. What do you think? Shit. Pay some locals for help. Locals become a lot more helpful when they when you swallow your pride and start offering food for helping to cross the river. <laughs> they give you small fishing boats to borrow. Yeah, I take all the food. Despite, or you suspect because of your vigilance, the locals from Thigholm don't try anything underhanded. As they take you in their small boats to the other side of the lake over several trips, you leave them with a generous amount of food. I have no food to give them, but okay. And they row back to their town. You hope it's worth it to buy some space from Bellower. 
who will have to drag his armies through the mud on foot. Oh my god. Fuck, I want to reload. This is fucked. This is so fucked. I don't know how to feel about this. This is so fucked up. I literally just spent like all of my supplies waiting for that bitch and she didn't show up. Stop a resolute voice calls from somewhere in the front of you. The surrounding terrain comes alive with armed fighters surrounding the caravan. No need for bloodshed, the leader says. Leave a couple wagons and pretend you never ever stopped. How about you leave what you've got instead? Yeah, no, give me what you have. The counteroffer takes the leader by surprise for a moment. We don't have time for this nonsense, he hisses oddly, loosening, loosening an arrow before anyone can react to the brigade, and the brigade leader falls over in a spray of blood. Damn. Something sinister in the way Kramer laughs about this turn of events convinces the rest of the brigands to give up their errand and beat a hasty retreat. I like you, girl, Rook. Your girl, Rook, he says, to which oddly gives him a dirty look. <laughs> Did we- we didn't get any supplies for that though, that's, um... Okay. I was hoping we would get some loot, we're gonna start losing people. Dude, I'm more mad that I just- I waited so long for her, I like- I waited a week. And she didn't show up. And then the guy's still like, bro, she's gonna come, it's like, dude. I have to starve myself for like, Christ to come or something? Like, I have no idea. As you're about to- Probably, she probably comes eventually. I have no idea, though. As you're about to head off to sleep for the night, Anna pulls you aside. I have a couple of concerns I want to speak speak to you about, he says. In private, you find a quiet place to talk. What's on your mind? How well do you know the people traveling with us? How many strangers are in the caravan now? Who are you worried about? The group decides, not just me. Don't fool yourself, Rook. It's mostly you. I've been watching folks since I joined you. Your companions from score they're loyal. I mean, it seems pretty clear that they die to protect you. I suppose I'd do the same. What about the Varl? You don't even know half of those warriors. You're telling me they have no problem following a man's orders? After everything that happened in Arntoft? They joined us voluntarily. Yeah, they did. And they might voluntarily put a sword in your gut, too. What happens the first time the Varl don't want... To do what you tell them. If Kramer gave the word, I guarantee at least half would follow. Let's be honest. They could take this caravan by force at any time if they wanted to. Yeah, but they haven't. Doesn't mean they won't. They're not the biggest problem, though. There's a mender with us. A mender who pulls lightning from the sky and tells us what to do and where to go. I'm mad about him too, Onef. Don't get me wrong. Myself, I think we lucked out when his mentor didn't show up in Sigholm. Ivan, just the apprentice? What in the depths is his master capable of? Think of it, Rook. What do you really know about Ivan? I heard they were they were found practically dead in the middle of nowhere where Dredge started showing up. Then an enormous serpent showed up at Eintoft after tearing the world in half. Takes one look at Ivan and bolts. Suddenly, they need our help instead of the Mender Council? How does that make any damn sense? No, you make some valid points. Points you should have made on your own. No, I've... <laughs> shut up. I've, I've thought about that too. I'm grateful for what you've done to get us so far, Rook, but it's always been about trust. I think it's time to part ways to speak, so to speak. Nothing personal. Suddenly you gasp for air. When you look down, ONF is holding a knife buried deep in your ribs. Your vision blurs and blood fills your sight. You gasp again. There's a bird whist whistle on, and the camp becomes a blur of motion. Onef's fighters from Frostfeller leap into action, cutting people down. As Oddleaf turns to fire on the man, Onef runs her through and pulls the blade from her back without even breaking her his stride. She drops like a sack of flour. Onef heads straight to Alette, who freezes in unbridled terror. You rise to your feet through the pain. Oddleaf is dead. Somehow you find the strength to cleave the nearest traitor in two, but you can't find the breath 
to shout, you think your lung might be punctured. Onef clutches Alette's wrist, admits the commotion, tosses her bow aside and pulls her into the deep woods. Her eyes meet yours across the campsite. No, her lips say, though you can't hear the words. A dozen men appear between you as Ivor steps into view, a fearsome, as fearsome as you've ever seen him. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, dude. I... I can't believe it. I really can't. I just uh, lost Oddleaf and I'm possibly losing a let now too. Oh shit. Oh, that's one of my most trained units. I don't want to lose her. Oddleaf I've kind of replaced as a unit, but I like her as a story character. Hmm. <laughs> That Onef guy fucking turncoated Ekhil is not the bad guy. Oh my god. And Ekhil killed Nid's husband and fuck. Fuck, dude. Um, okay, well. We go. The Varl know the humans from Frostbeller that we that we recruited a while ago. They turned on us. They kidnapped my daughter just now, too. So, um, they're going to be relatively weak, though. I didn't train many of these guys at all, so I'm not really worried about their strength. I'm just, I'm mad that they killed my, uh, they killed my character's wife, basically. <laughs> More or less, they killed my character's fucking future girlfriend. <laughs> like, oh, God. Yeah, dude. Oh, they're taking position too. That's really annoying. But I have a strong arm here. So the strong arm gets to actually cleave through everybody in a sense. So he's going to hit him for four and then it'll, it. Oh, I thought it cleaved everybody. Maybe it's because they're armored up. They're double cheeked up. I can like critical armor break him though. Look at that. Minus nine. That's ridiculous. Oh, but I lost units. I lost important units too, not just like a couple units. I lost important units that I care about. I lost at least one important unit. I'm not gonna reload. I've already decided that. We're, we're, we're playing this out. I'm just, I'm emotional right now. I'm, I'm fucked up. Like 100% I am fucked up. Like mentally. Mentally and emotionally fucking scarred. A good eye sniper. <clears throat> Big hit. I'm kind of hoping if I kill their main guy, it's not a big deal. Yeah, no saves coming. Yeah. Trying our best not to. I've kept Ivor alive though, so I'm happy about that. Oh my god. They're doing advanced tactics that I'm not good, that I don't know about. I can cleave them. That should kill. Yeah. Okay, so that didn't end combat instantly. That's unfortunate, but that's okay too. Um, he just moved, right? This guy just uses moves, so I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, actually. I want to do this. I'll spend. Yeah, sure. Hopefully it cleaves and hits another guy. It did. Nice. Mogan might be dead. He's not dead. That's very fortunate for us. Um, I can guarantee a kill on this guy, I think. Never. Oh, wait. I might be able to. Oh, no. Let me mark prey. That, that should kill. Yes. Uh, he's going to die, though. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, my. 
how do I get minus zero on armor break on a character? I don't think I've ever seen that. Can I get um lightning bolt to work? I can hit him with lightning bolt. Oh, it's not gonna hit her. Honestly, sap his strength as much as possible. So it doesn't become a problem. Because Ganolf probably has to like weave or something here. Yeah. Big Tempest Slice. Big Tempest Slice. Wait. Okay. I was a bit scared. I thought I was about to hurt my own teammates. Um I can kill like target. But the thing is that target's also one that moved most recently, right? So I don't want to do that. I need to take these guys down that can do damage. Um, I don't have Mark for Prey, right? I have to like spend it, spend something. We can kill with Mark for Prey here, though. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody attack. Um, my archer. Unfortunate that she has to move. She's only going to do one damage though, no matter what. I don't want to waste her willpower stuff right now. Oh, she actually has a lot of it. Probably should have. Um, let's let's get a strike on this guy. Break his armor down. You want to kill Jesus? You don't attack Jesus like that. That's Jesus. Can Jesus kill somebody? Jesus Christ. Hit them both. Potentially, I don't think he's gonna kill either of them though. Oh, he killed one. Sick. Sick, okay. I can kill this guy. I think that's the plan. Yeah, I think we'll just kill him. Use the plus one. Okay. Now I only have two guys left. Ivor's not gonna be able to hit him at all. Fine. Just rest, Ivor. Chill out. He'll heal some armor. That's how strong Ivor is. He'll just heal his armor. Um. Honestly, I think it's funnier if we uh, mark mark prey on this and see how we kill him. I think both of them together will kill him. No. Damn. Nid did not do enough. She, her strength is so low because she took damage. I hate how low the strength of some of the humans can be because it makes it really awkward. <laughs> he has like such a low hit chance. Break his armor. Do it. Yeah, Ganolf, you can, you can kill this guy. It's okay. Pillage. It's time for killing. Um, I really don't want Ivor to get the XP here. I'll be honest. Um, I don't know if I want him to get the XP either. I like Nid to get the XP. Let's, um, 50-50? Wait, I should have spent one. Never mind, the 50-50 didn't work anyway. Um, let's see if Jesus can get it. Jesus got it. Jesus is stronger than our archer. <laughs> Man, I'm still fucked up. I'm kind of mad. I'm upset I lost my girl. Hmm. Where's Alette? Shouts Ivor, tearing through the nearest bandit. But you're already hobbling into the deep wood where they disappeared, ignoring the battle raging behind you. In haze of pain, you start to think you've lost your lost their tracks. Then you hear Alette screaming in the distance, followed by silence. You tear through the trees. A small clearing. Alette lies on her back against the tree. Her hands and clothes are covered in blood. She stares vacantly ahead, unblinking. Beside her, the body of Onef, an arrow buried in his right eye, as if placed there by, by hand. She looks in your direction, and then at Onef, I killed him, she says. Oh, fuck. Alette, are you alright? God... This storytelling is really fucking good right now. This storytelling is really good. I just really want to reload because I want my girlfriend back. Man, fuck. Fuck this shit. 
Ah! <laughs> he cringes much from the pain as the appear as the appearance of Alette, her and her bloody struggle with Onef. I'm no, I'm 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 not hurt. I had no choice. Dad, your chest, you are bleeding. Yeah, because she I still have the stab wound, don't I? Suddenly she's at your side putting pressure on your wound. I can fix this, I can fix this. Where's my needle? Audit left. Anyone. Ivor, I found them. Just as your sight goes black, you see Ivan, Ivor, and Alette standing over you. That's a good way to go. Is he going to make it? Your eyes open to the sound of Alette's voice. Normally, a wound like that, I only hope I did enough. I'll survive. Dad! Alette stops herself from hugging your bandaged chest, pulling your head to her instead. The words come out easier than you expected. Oddleaf? It's a good thing Ivan was here. She's going to pull through, though it was a nasty wound. Oh, everything's good. <laughs> okay. Good thing we have the healer guy. We managed to kill most of the traitorous sons of bitches, and the rest fled into the woods. There were a lot of people I couldn't save. You did everything you could, Ivan. Nobody expects you to raise the dead. Ivan frowns deeply, putting a hand to his forehead. Why did Onair do this, Rick? He was talking to you right before it happened. He'd been planning it all along. He thought my leadership would get us killed. Utter bastard. All this time, we had no idea. Akil killed half a dozen of Onef's men by himself. He told me Onef was running Frostfeller the whole time. He left Frostfeller behind when he saw a better opportunity. Guess that relationship is over. Akil was always just the barking dog you put in the yard to find out who your enemies are. It was no accident. Onef went after those of us from score. He must have thought he must have thought with us gone he'd have the banner and the rest of the world and the rest would fall in line. Or at worst, they take all the supplies from themselves and leave leave the rest as dredge bait. We have to be more careful. We can't just let anyone join the caravan anymore. Where do you draw the line, Ivor? I don't know, Rook. I really don't know. None of this changes. The fact that Bellower is out there somewhere following us. The swamp around Sigholm might buy us some time, but we've got to keep moving. Your body aches all over, but Ivor's right. The road calls. The caravan is already starting to pack up camp. Damn. Akil. Why didn't you tell me about this bastard? Look who it is. Still not dead? How are things, Rook? I can never guess with you, Akil. I heard you helped drive off the traitors when Onef attacked us. And it leaves me wondering, what's your deal? I'm not so hard to understand. Why don't you try asking instead of telling? Why don't you warn us about Onef? Didn't I? I told you many times... How many times did I tell call him a traitor before you get you got the message no yeah he did what do you want me to say watch out for onef onef's going to murder your whole family he didn't fill me in on the details he was always like that in fact i wouldn't be surprised if he tried to convince you to off me but listen i don't need to know so keep it to yourself yeah why'd you stick around him i don't really know rick family makes you do weird things you know what the worst part is we became kin when he married my sister. She died of a fever one night, but she didn't. She wasn't sick. He killed her. Well, fuck. I don't know why he did it. Maybe he just felt like it. I was so furious, I got so angry that I, I wanted him to beg. I could kill him without a second thought, but that wasn't enough. I wanted him to feel sick. Sick about it. Puke his guts out. And somehow, somehow, that turned on to, into, over time, he never cared. And I gave up and did what he wanted. I don't know how it happened. But when I attacked you in Frostfeller, I guess I'll just say it wasn't my idea. You're welcome to stay with us. Had no plans of going anywhere. So you're going to let me walk around with my own axe and everything? It doesn't mean I'm not watching you. I can accept that. You're a good man. I need to get going and I need to take a piss. You're not the only busy man around here, you know? 
You shake your head as Ekil steps away from the camp. Bro's like, bro, bro's just like, I'm gonna go piss. Oh, we got, we got to check on the wife, guys. How, how are you, wifey? How's the wound? You notice oddly wince as she rises to greet you. It's doing a lot better. When I saw it happen, I thought for sure. Ah, well, I'm really glad you're, you, you would have missed me, Rook. She smiles. Without, without Ivan, that's all you, you could have done. Instead, you'll have to put up with my crap a little bit longer. It still aches like you wouldn't believe, though. Oh, maybe you would. Heard you took a stabbing yourself. I guess things could have gone worse. What do you think about the caravan? You mean, should we start kicking people out? That's a tough one. Usually, I'd be the first to give you a dirty look for suggesting it. On the other hand, I got a sword in my back. Oddleaf thinks for a moment before sighing. Don't send anyone away. Just make sure nothing happens to Alette. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Sometimes it's lonely since my husband died well. Well, uh, you know, I'm just saying, just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm right here. I'm, I'm right here. I'm here. <laughs> just, just saying. I guess I'd, I'd say it's more like being alone, even surrounded by all these people. Not like I don't have enough to worry about, though. I'm glad to have a let around and you, Rook. I'll let you get some rest. Okay, thanks. I'll take you up on that. You know, you're welcome to keep me company. Ooh. When I'm a little more awake, I mean. I'll talk to you later. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Guys, we got it. We're in. Ne near death experience, and we're in. Let's go, boys. <sighs> Hulk Hogan Mogan has taken a fall for us. I don't really. I kind of like Ganolf. I think I'm going to replace Hulk Hogan Mogan with Ganolf. I'll be honest, guys. Ganolf can take. Take the next spot. We'll give him some more power. Honestly, I want him to be a cleaner. I think giving him a lot of strength is actually the best call. I want him to just walk in and kill things. Become pseudo Hakan, basically. Um, I don't think he needs a crit chance. I'm not sure what dodge strength means. Like if it's 20% chance to dodge a strength based attack or if it's a 20% chance to like just dodge attacks or what. But like I'd rather him not take strength damage if possible so I think that's I think it's probably fine. I didn't mean to rest. That was a bad idea. I was clicking on it because I'm silly. My bad. We're going to keep losing people too because we don't have supplies. Everybody's sad. This makes the events harder to deal with. So, like a lot harder to deal with. Oh, we're coming up on a grave. A gaunt man and woman, woman approach the caravan, hands held high. The world, a word, friends. The man says, "We are poor farmers, down on our luck." The woman hits him and says, "We're outlaws, plain and simple. Ten of us, and we'll we'll help you fight for some food." up front what are your crimes misunderstandings the man says meat houses are confusing never know when you've drank your share the woman hits him again we've stolen a few we've stolen killed a few when we had this we had to skills that might benefit you out here um i mean fend for yourself we don't have anything the two quick we shuffle to the supply wagon as eight more bandits emerge from the wilderness. They gorge themselves on salted fish and cheese. We have none of that. Taking the time to thank everyone after eating, they politely keep to themselves. Um, well, we had no food. And four of you just died. But you know. It's fine. Hmm. <laughs> We're coming up on a village. Please, 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 please be a village. Please be a village. Please be a village. Let me buy some shit. Oh, God. Okay, the villagers here are completely oblivious to the destruction that's coming. All we've seen is some dark figures far off, they tell you. Aside from a few young families, they're reluctant to, sp to pick up things and join you. That's that's fine. I don't want them in my party. I, I need food. I need food. I shouldn't have leveled my guy up. I should have 
kept the money for food, I could have been oh, totally fine for a while. I should have leveled my guy up. That was the bad idea. That was a bad idea. That was a little too... That was so risky. Because now I only have two days of food, basically. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're still going to lose people here. I don't think we're going to be okay. I'm really, 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 really fearing... Yeah, because it's going to take us two days just to get the thing. More supplies are missing, the woman by the wagon says to you. And look, tracks, right here. They look like children's footprints, but my husband and I follow them into the wilderness a ways. They meet up with some adult tracks. No telling how many. Round up and question the children. Clansmen are on edge as you question the children. None of them seem to know anything about the food. You managed to scare them more than intended. Two brothers in particular left on the verge of crying. And I lost all my food that I just bought. <laughs> I literally lost all my food. Bro. Your old man sits, sits astride an overgrown portion of the trail. You lost, he says. You ask. He just the leather strap on his head and says, no, are you? He jumps up and shuffles towards the caravan, his tattered clothes revealing no weapons. Well, I've seen better, the old man says, peering into the supply wagons, but I'll join you. He stands up next to a fighter, throws his beard over his shoulder, and puffs out his chest. The fighter grins, and the stranger exhales, asking, what are you waiting for? Lead the way. You're welcome to join if you can keep pace. Fuck it. Keep pace. The old man puffs through his mustache. His moustache. No fleeter than old Anar and husbands and husbands. Mind your wives. I'm cursed with the golden tongue, not silver. The caravan enjoys a good laugh and they start moving once again. Well, he made us laugh. Hmm. This, this went so sour so fast. I, I have a lot of men though to deal with. It's just shit. Did it get bad? We don't have the time to like wait around anymore for stuff. We just have to make our journey. Maybe I should have been greedier with my guys and like let them die in combat more or something. I have no idea, but I messed up somewhere bad. Damn, this looks so cool, though. The imposing god stone of Bajorov approaches. His severe m visage makes it feel like he's watching you even now. The caravan spreads out, happy to be free of the confining forest and an open field. Hogan pulls you aside to show you some red berries growing on the ash tree that looked like it was chopped down long ago. These shouldn't be growing here, he, sa he says excitedly. I haven't seen these in a long time. He and Mogan busily go about collecting berries. In fact, in honor of Bajolf, some of the caravan crack kegs of mead, well, we don't have any of that, and wine out before anyone can stop them. To the gods that, the only god that matters, they shout. Everyone drinks as you're glad that the merriment has swept over the caravan. We're going to go collect berries. What exactly are these, you ask Hogan. When I would travel to Boardsguard with my father, sometimes he'd buy a few of these. Hogan replies, couldn't find be a luckier find see for yourself. You try one and you feel energy returning to your tired limbs. Not taking a few more would be a wasted opportunity, you figure. As the hour becomes late and the caravan is eventually ready to get on the road, the day by Bajorf, Bajorf Stone is one of the few memories that hasn't been tarnished by the specter of bad fortune, you think to yourself. Oh, I only got a thistleberry. I was hoping that would give me more supplies to save my men. Fuck. I really feel stupid now. <laughs> There's a town coming up. Hopefully we get some renown. Oh my god, no. Between here and there. Oh god. Renovic. Unar, the quirky old man with the leather headband says, well he's a Naruto guy. Okay, cool. If there's one thing I know better than women and meat, it's well he smiles. Well, nothing, but but I know when a group could use some help. Just nod and let old Unar 
make everything better. No questions now. We'd appreciate any help. I'd rather not have any surprises. Yeah, we'll take any help. That evening, Unara clears his throat and loudly recites a tale of travelers ending with war and death behind them. Seeking hope instead, they carried on with courage, using the heart and head. A strange poem, but the caravan is happy for a change of pace. Unar's bow, Unar bows and turns to assist the cooks. The evening's meal is larger than ever, yet the supply wagons seem more full than before. You look to thank Unar, but he is gone. Oh, we got Santa Claus! That was awesome! <laughs> he was a blessing that we needed, that's awesome. Shit. There's gonna be dredge here. Hopefully there's still people. Renovic comes and goes as a long series of farmhouses abandoned and crawling with dredge. The farmers have probably already fled to Bjorsgard. You try to hurry past, but you're eventually spotted by dredge. Start amp spotted dredge start amp ampling in your direction. What is this? <laughs> what is that? Points out oddly up near one of the longhouses. In the distance, a large person, clothed seemingly covered in blood, is cursing loudly and stumbling about. He staggered into a longhouse laugh, laughing. The dredge heading in your direction turn back, roaring, and begin to pound on the longhouse door. They seem to be holding a grudge against this particular person. You doubt the door will hold for long. Well, we're gonna help this guy. Against your better, my better judgment, we should probably do something, you say. The others agree even though it means putting them at, at all at risk. As you quietly approach, the dredge have managed to splinter the door and break through. Hey! Shouts a Varl, wearing all red, standing on the other side of the dredge. Come all the way up here just for me, he says unconcerned about the dredge as he hoists his enormous sword. Obtained the Scarlet Feather? Sigbjorn. The Warhawk Sigbjorn. Oh, plus movement and minus aggro. That's interesting. But he can have the plus four strength gloves that we have. Plus three strength. Oh, I, I was kind of looking forward to using Gnolf, though, more. <laughs> oh, no. But, you know, this guy's probably better than Gnolf is. I'll be honest, he probably is. Um, Ivan. Nid. Iver. Honestly, honestly, I think this is a better set of of ways to do things. Okay, this gives more movement and minus aggro though. What does he currently have on? This is like plus three break, right? Because he can break with the bow. Yeah, he's kind of our breaker. Kind of our main breaker. Nade can go second. Okay. Ivor gets to go first because he's kind of like the tanky boy. He's the big tanky boy. Oh, well, I love this positioning. Absolutely amazing. Um, Love it a lot, actually. Like, a whole lot. <sighs> okay, well, this is going to be a bit of a pain in the butthole. Ain't it? Well, let's at least give ourselves a position like this. Everybody on one side or something like that. Um, honestly, Strongarm's gonna just have to do his fucking thing. Hit him for a lot. Strike him hard. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. There really isn't much we should really do other than attack like that and try to bring him down the rest of these won't be much of a pain but the the big guy has to be dealt with archer's getting to take point is fucking amazing though that was awesome <sighs> yeah we're gonna start getting hurt a lot that's okay we can start dealing with these guys pretty easily He's going to have 17 strength. That's wild. 
Whoa, minus three. Nobody's taking armor damage, so he's kind of useless right now. I could try, but I think it's just gonna end turn here. Yeah, poor, poor Ivor, but this is the life he's chosen. He needs to take down like HP on these guys. He's also a pretty solid breaker though. I'll try. I'll break this time instead. Oh no. Oh no, not Jesus. Don't hit Jesus. Um, Gnoll? Well, not Gnoll. Wh whatever this guy's name is can probably handle that guy. I want to tank this guy's defense though, completely. Strong sniper shot. Um, mid can also tank defense pretty hard. Yeah, because he can get a turn and like whirlwind them, right? So I can take these guys down if I bring his defense down quite a bit, and I can whirlwind here. This is going to be the only guy who's a little bit annoying to deal with, but we'll just have to tolerate him. Oh my god. Seven damage. I think that pretty much guarantees the kill on both of them. I don't want my boy to die, but if my boy dies, my boy dies. Oh my god. This is a juicy cleave. Yeah, this guy's gonna go, right? I can tank his... I can tank... Oh no, 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 not, not mend arc lightning. Maximum. Hopefully this makes it so he can't deal damage. So that's minus four. Oh, that's minus five to my boy though. That's not a good. He's going to die now. Oh, never mind. We're okay. We're so okay. We're so we're so back. We're so we're so in there, dude. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> I meant to add power to it. It's fine. Oh god, please do not kill my my boy. Okay, well I can guarantee a kill on this guy with this guy for sure. There's no way Mark for Prey doesn't instant kill this guy, basically. Yeah, a let hit for 12. That's crazy. <gasps> no, no, not Jesus! This guy didn't take any damage. I should have... Fuck. Oh, well. That means he could kill my other boy. That's crazy. What if I do sniper shot? But only hit for one. Shit. It's not not nice. This I might actually lose two on this. I got a new unit though. He really wants to kill that. That's fine by me. Sniper shot. Kill him. Alette does crazy damage. Right now. Okay, we're we're so in there. We are so back, dudes. We are so back. Kill him. Just do it. One shot, that's cool. We won. Oh, I did get no injuries. Welcome to my mead house. Sig Bajorn's House of Mead. I wasn't expecting a varl this far south or this drunk. I can see that. There are people huddled in the corners of the mead hall looking on with uneasiness. Who are all these who are these people with you? No, they're no, they're friends. They made this place. It's real, not really mine. You lured the dredge back to a room full of unarmed people. What is wrong with you? Come on, I've saved everybody here. <laughs> they shared some fine drinks. The best drink. Wait, I was saving your ass. Remember that part? Uh, if you knew, if I knew you'd come here. Oh, if you knew you'd come up here, you could have told me. What do we do with this guy? We're not getting involved. Anyone here is welcome to join us. Yep. Townspeople show you a huge sa sacks of barrels filled with quality meat and help haul them back onto your caravan. Nice! I'll miss this place. Good memories. <laughs> we got a new Warhawk though. That's cool. And we got a good amount of supplies. Okay, we're back. We're back in business. We're so back. With some help, you gather up the cast of mead and head back to the caravan. Sigbajorn. Sigbajorn. And the other survivors in tow. The caravan gives you... Gives the boisterous Varl 
a large berth as you set out for Bjorsgard. Did that count as me as Irving getting hurt? He did get hurt. Ah, oh well. Mister. I'm I'm gonna save my money this time, I'm so afraid. I I don't feel confident with the amount of supplies I have, and I don't want to lose more people. I already dealt with losing enough people today. No more. No more. Ugh, what do I do? Sig Bajorn wakes up in a pool of his own sick. Why am I surrounded by small people? The other clansmen let him sleep off his drunken stupor on the ground, and this morning he's paying the price. Help him recover. Po postcards will help him get up. Reluctantly, your clansmen offer any food and drink they can scrounge together for the the moaning varl. When one offers thin mead, he pushes it away. In fact, take this away from me, he says, handing you his massive mead stein. Eventually, Sigbajorn comes to you. I won't get into details, he says. I was supposed to bring those casts from Revenik back to Bjorsgard. I drank maybe half by accident. <laughs> He's an alcoholic. Point is, Sig Bajorn continues. You don't tell anybody what happened, and I won't tell anyone about the mead you got, okay? Trust me on this one. You agree? <laughs> and let we get back to travel. Okay. Bajorn's blessing? He gave me a new item? What's the item do? It's a blue item. What, what's this this blessing? It's the beer. Knockback on strength. Plus one strength. That's really funny. We got a we got his his stein. Nice. His sten? I forget I don't know how to pronounce that. Is it sten or stein? I always say stein, so I guess you know I'll say it's stein. Bum bum ba dum bum bum ba dum boop boop ba doo 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 doo. Where are we going? Thieving bastards, you waken to hear. The small band of outlaws who had previously joined the caravan made off with a substantial number of supplies while you slept. A watchman tells you why in the depths were they allowed to join us to begin with? Ugh. Bastards. Oh no. All of the supplies we just got are gone now again. Nice. We just lost everything we, we gathered and now we're starting to lose people. People are going to start to die. Again. A scout returns with a nearly frozen child. I almost stepped on her in the snow. Looks like she must have been running from something, he says. Patches of blue model her pale skin. But... The chest rises and falls ever so slightly. Even just carrying her along could it kill her in a state like this, says a woman. We could be in danger here. Points out another. Keep moving and let the healers try to tend to her. We can't stop moving. I'm sorry. Fighters stay alert for any threat. While the caravan moves on, the healer rubs the girl's arms and legs and her blankets to no avail. An hour later, one healer approaches you with tears in her eyes. She says nothing, only shakes her head. Aw, oh, poor baby. God, I hope we find Juno here. As we pass steep cliffs, the sprawl of Boesgard comes into view. A city of contrasting rich and poor, opportunity and gamble. <gasps> we can gamble? Our best hope for salvation or our graves. We can go gambling? <gasps> Let's go gambling! I'm so ready. Oh shit. Chapter 7, The Slayer and the Slain. Shit. Finally, you arrive at Borsgard, where the walls stretch for miles in both directions and are littered with bodies and dredge and varl, varl and men. Excuse the mess, shouts a voice from above the gates. Oh, fuck. He looks metal. Looking up, you spy a striking varl, his face wreathed and matted with matted black hair. Movement at the gate catches your eye. Dredge are still banging on the gate doors without luck. Let us in, you shout. Sigma Jordan pushes past. I won't be here in the end of this for a while, he says, before yelling, open up, Bulvrick. They dug me out of Revenik. <laughs> you hear a laugh echoing in the wind as the doors creak. A dozen armed men led, a massive varl, led by the massive varl make quick work of the dredge and usher you into the city. Oh, thank God. We saved him and it led us into the city with no effort. That's awesome. You may be interested to know they brought a mender. You you didn't go to get a mender? Where's the mead? <laughs> Where's the beer? Sigbajorn shrugs apologetically. I guess the mender will do. Either 
We've got a chance now or we're completely screwed. I'm Rook. We've come a long ways, some some as far as Skagor with me. Yeah, I came from Skagor. Are you in charge here? In charge of the, the governor, I suppose. <laughs> Sorry, I burped. Listen, if you have something to tell him, say it now. Otherwise, you're on your own. I don't care where you go, but stirring up trouble is probably the only reason you'll see me again. It won't be to talk. Mender, come along. We're going to go see the governor. Bul Bulverk and Sh Sigbjorn leave with Ivan, who goes willingly, sig signaling that he's fine. Thane, this is just like Frostfeller all over again. This is nothing like Frostfeller. The one in bearskin is probably leading the ravens. Ravens, is that good or bad? It depends on who they're working for. Hopefully, it really is the governor, not someone trying to strong arm their way into his seat. I guess we wait for Ivan to tell us if he comes back. I'm not worried about Ivan. I'm worried about the army of refugees we brought who don't belong here. You're probably right. Nobody even uttered a nice thing about Bjorsgard. So what now? We have to go to the docks and see what options what our options are in case we need to leave quickly. Did you notice the city guards when we came in? What guards? I have a feeling the ravens are all they've got left. Something serious went down. And when Bellower gets here, he's going to walk right through this place without even breaking his stride. Let's keep that to ourselves for now, to, so to the docks. Shit. I can buy 16 supplies can buy three days worth of supplies and that's it and go broke oh no dude i feel even oh fuck okay go to the docks when you get to the docks your heart sinks not a long ship to be seen aside from the wrecks bodies float in the water buildings are tr are tra trashed and boarded up what happened here murmurs alette they're all gone says ivan approaching alone i i see you had the same thought as me oh shit Ivan, you're okay. I'm fine. It wasn't a lie. The governor is here. He's in hiding. Why? Since the dredge started appearing, anyone with a ship and half a wit left long ago. People can't leave by foot. Food is scarce. The markets are bare. Bors Bjorsgard is a fire keg waiting for someone to tip it over. So the governor is paying the ravens to protect him against his own people and keep the peace, so to speak. It's more like a massacre anytime there's a hint of an uprising. Where does that leave us? I promised him the Mender's protection in Ardbarang. I don't think he's very popular there. They're going to start tearing this place down to build new ships. We can ride to or the Orbsmar River all the way to the capital, leaving another perfectly good city behind. How long will it take to build new ships? Hold on. What's happened? What's happens to the pe what happens to the people living in Bjorsgard? It's the best I could do, Alette. He thought it could take as long as a month. You don't usually make ships out of scrap lumber. As soon as people figure out what's going on, they're going to start riots in the streets. A month? Why bother? Bellower will be here within a week, if not sooner. I'm open to suggestions. Gods be damned. Is there no end to this? Ivor roars in frustration, leaving you, st you standing by the docks. Alette gives you a worried look before chasing after him. Ivan. What do we do about Bellower? Ivan says nothing for a moment. I don't know. Shit. Okay. You find Ivor standing on the city walls, overlooking the fields outside. Dredge are keeping their distance, but continue to gather. I I'm okay, Rook. Ivor cuts you off before you can say anything. You know he's been through worse. It just feels like someone could should cut us a break every now and then. If we want to be standing a month from now, we're going to have to be prepared. What if we leave on foot? What about the ravens? Oh, what about the ravens? They'll save their own hides and whoever is paying. They don't give two dams about the rest of us. We may even end up facing off against them depending on how this goes. Let's avoid that. First off, our clansmen need to need a place to stay. They'll get torn to pieces out in the streets. I'll keep an eye on the dredge up here, 
If they break through the walls, we're done for. So we'll have to keep them back. I could always use a hand with that. We need to know who's controlling what and make sure we get our cut. Food's going to become scarce. And when they start building those ships, we're going to have to keep people away. What a damn mess. I'll do what I can. Shit. Okay. Ivor explains, I'm leading the attack with Ivan every time the dredge get too close to the gates. Listen, we're going to lose fighters in Varl every day like this. I don't need to tell you what happens if nobody is manning the, the, the wall. We could always use help. You consider what you want to do now, knowing that any of these tasks will likely take a full day. We need supplies first. I checked around, Oddleaf tells you. And nobody has food, or they won't part with it for a fair price. And our medicine has been gone for days. They're either gouging the prices, or it's just plain gone. She doesn't say, she doesn't say it, but you can tell this is going to be a serious problem. Scour the city for anyone who was willing to sell. We don't really have money. Shake down the places that seem to be holding out. Tell the caravan to start rationing tighter now. Track down the ravens and see what they know. You find a massive leader of the ravens alongside along the docks, where they're doing their best to keep a growing number of people in check while the boats are being constructed. You question him about food and supplies. Should have brought your own, he says. I can't go giving giving it to every person in Bjorsgard. I'd kill every last bastard in the city for some good mead, though. This place has been dry for weeks. Offer him the mead. Yeah, here's the mead. Let me get this straight, says Bjolverk. You happen to come through Renovic with Sigvajor in tow, and plenty of mead to go around. Is that right? You hesitate a little bit longer. I'll murder that motherless yox, growls Bolvark. As he turns to leave, he grumbles. Bring the barrels, and we'll make a trade. The caravan protests when you tell them, tell them the deal you made, but when you return with more supplies than you expected, the complaints vanish. Ooh, we got 13 days of supplies. We got like a lot of supplies for that. That was a fucking good trade we made. We we are losing people though. People are going to start dying. People are going to start fucking dying. Okay. Ivor points out the dredge. Okay. Find a safe place for the caravan to stay. Help down at the docks. Put Kramer in charge of leading the warriors? No. Actually, maybe. No, caravan needs a place to stay. The entire caravan has spread out in the streets where they're attracting attention. We could look for you for public houses, suggests Alette, like Frostfeller. You figure that if you made camp in the open, it could could at least keep everyone together. Or with people leaving the city recently, there might be abandoned houses you can squat in. Fuck. Gather in a public house look for abandoned houses put people in charge put some people in charge of it and let them deal with it that's fucked up um we'll look for abandoned houses with all the people that fled from Bjorsgard when the dredge arrived you figure there must be a few abandoned houses around sure sure enough a few a few turn up which will provide will keep people out of the weather they express concern over safety house full of women and children be sure to draw some attention Um, we have some fighters that guard the houses. You take volunteers to watch over the houses, mostly the older and wounded fighters, who wouldn't be much help against the dredge anyway. Hopefully, they won't be missed on the walls, but you feel better knowing that your clansmen will be that much more safer. I agree. Hey, Ivor, we're going to fight on the walls today. This is bad, says Ivan, as Ivor points across the battlefield. Aside from the fact that we're up to our necks in dredge, a stone singer has showed up. We've been losing warriors left and right. If we don't deal with it, this wall will come down by the end of the day. One of your clansmen from the caravan finds you. Just wanted to tell you that everything seems to be fine, he says regarding the people in the caravan. There was a little scuffle and with some looters, but fighters you left sorted everything out. Good. Dad, there's a riot at the docks. Alette runs up to, to you out of breath. They're trying to smash up the boats. When you calm her down, she says... The ravens are there, but she's worried that things could get out of hand. I'm I'm sorry, dude. I'm 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 hanging with the boy Ivor. No matter what. The stone that stone singer is going to wreak havoc on us. If 
If we don't take care of it, Ivor tells you. This will be a rough fight, but but we've got to take it down. You ready? You prepare yourself. Okay. Let's get ready. Let's fight for our life. Um, we lost. Oh no, we lost the, the guy. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh well. We lost the guy. Did he actually get killed for that RP option? I didn't think he would. Maybe he did. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I didn't get too attached to him. I just thought he was funny. But shit, we might have killed him on accident, guys. Oh, fuck. There's a stone singer back there, too. This is going to be rough. Okay, I'm going to put the boy back here. He needs to be over here. Um, shit. I think we just kind of take point. I'll be honest. I think we do just take point here. He has more armor than our, like, armor breaker dude. Armor breaker dude. We're going to just... We're going to take an awkward position. We'll, we'll go, like, back here. And then I think I'm going to just put Gnolf here in the, the fold. I do think I'm going to put put Ivor to go forward so he at least gets in the way and blocks block stuff he can destroy armor pretty well all of these guys can do some pretty good armor destruction stone singer is calling reinforcements which is really bad as well we can't really I can't really dive back behind him yet Gnolf might be capable of doing that. How much will I do? Seven damage? Fucking go. Sniper shot. That's sick. We can actually take him down really quickly. Okay, we gotta pierce down the armor on these guys. We might be able to get Gnolf back there then. Oh, really? Holy shit. Fucking never mind. I should not have made that. That should not have been my play. That was an awful idea. Of course I can't hit you, right? Of course it's going to hit all my guys, right? Ah, fuck this. So, I can't even hit him. I can't finish the rest of my turn either. Ugh. It's really hard to understand where and how to use his fucking shit. Okay, mister. Gnolf. Big Tempest attack. Okay. It just I hit I hit more damn more attack. I hit more enemies if I do the other attack. Oh, he added he healed them. Okay, well that's that's fine, I guess. I'm not really worried about the healing. How much who who goes next? This guy, right? Honestly, I'm just gonna like. I don't want him to like. Oh! Oh! I can kill targets now really easily. I can get some kills here. Definitely kill this guy in one hit. Look at that. Oh! Big attack from everybody. Attack me, bitch. Do what you can. We actually like turn this combat around really fast. Sniper shot. Good eye sniper. You'll shoot and I'll run. Good Nolf just oh, he's got the dodge. Ooh. Okay, okay, lads. We're so we're so back now, dude. I don't want to mend. I, I want to fucking arc lightning at a motherfucker. I don't want anybody to get like truly like smashed and hurt. I thought he was calling reinforcements, but this just works out. The, the added strength is like, it's annoying, right? But it's fine. We can deal with it. We can cope. I don't think I can kill here. Yeah. Yeah, he's calling reinforcements now. That's what the reinforcements thing looks like. 
but sadly, you are so dead. I don't even need to, like, pierce your armor. Like, I just... Varl kills him fast. Then I got the piercing damage. Oh, that's a really bad idea for you, friend. Oh, can I get in range for a sniper shot? I can. That's minus a lot, but you know what? Minus six is totally worth it if it means the next attack is going to kill him, potentially. They're running, though. It's going to make it hard for her. Okay, she she's carrying a lot. Yeah, she's not able to hit though. Even with her sniper shot. Ugh. That was brutal. Holy shit, poor Gnoll. Our poor lad. Can I even hit them? I can. Fuck it. I think he's mending, so. Yeah. Which doesn't really help them much at all. Uh, Gnolf, I don't want him to die. He's such a liability. <laughs> our boy is such a liability. I love our boy, but he's... He's in fact a liability <laughs> for the whole group. He's gonna die now. Oh, you're not gonna shoot him, you're just gonna throw your little rocks at him. Okay, that's fine. Oh no, he's cutting me off. It's... I'm so sorry. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's, he's just dead. There's like no way. But we can kill, right? Oh, he's 1 HP. He's dead though from the bombs. Nice. Oh, it didn't count as me killing him though, so we don't get pillage immediately. That's crazy. Can I hit him with a sniper shot from here? I can. 4 damage? Kill her. Kill him. Nice promotion. Oh, man. Do I get to rest in here? Or am I just stuck? Or are we like in a... Oh, we're in a different situation. I like Gnolf, but minus three is a lot. Minus three is a lot. We don't really think I could use stuff. Um, I like Knit a lot too. How much is a level 5 promotion? It's 20. I'll let you can take it. I'm I'm gonna make her girl boss. She can be our first level 5. Like our first tree level 5. She's girl boss. She's girl boss energy. Okay, Ivor. This morning says Ivor. I saw him. Bellower's here. I think it won't be long now. Ivan leans silently on his staff nearby. You consider what you want to do, knowing that any of these tasks will likely be, take a full day. Shit, dude, that's like a massive army of dredge on the walls too. I have to see what happened at the docks, dude. You go down the docks, it's pandemonium. Few work on the ships now, as the ravens stand over bodies of people, while a huge crowd roars in anger. Bulwark's axe covered in blood. What happened, you shout, pushing your way through the rioters. What do you think would happen? Responds Bulwark coolly. It didn't take them long, long to figure out we were building ships right under their noses, and they can't have one, and they can't have one. You gonna lend a hand in, or just stand there? I'll fight by their side. You have to axe to join the ravens in pushing people back. You only using deadly force when you have to. When it feels like the day feels like days later, you finally give up and disperse. Took longer than usual, says Bul Bulwark. Probably we probably be a while before they try that again. You leave feeling like you've just slaughtered an army. He did basically slaughter an army. Ivor, you begin. Can we really keep this up? Ivor looks at it like he hasn't slept for days. We've lost a lot of fighters, he mumbles. The weight of the situation is crushing. Then, then far in the distance, you hear the horn, a horn. Dredge, don't use horns. It occurs to you. Ivan appears at your side as a long caravan of people come into view. 
the dredge turning to attack them. Who's that, you ask? Bro, is it Hakan? Is it my boy? Is it our boy? It can't be, says Ivan. He runs towards the gates, shouting, You see that banner? It's Hakan! Yes! Yes, it's my boy. Oh my god. As you wonder how they got here, the gates are heaved open, and you charge onto the field, clearing a path to the dredge. Strongest unit when oiled up. Dude, strongest... Strongest character when oiled up. He's back. He's so back, and I'm so happy. Oh, dudes. Oh, I wish he was on the party. No, it's so sad. He's not actually here to fight with us. Hmm, I miss him already. I should call him. I should call her. I love him so much. He's like my favorite character. He's so cool. This guy has so much damage. He's scary. He can one shot our guys. Um, running a tighter formation seems to work really well for us. We pretty much just have archers. <laughs> Our group's very archer heavy, plus two willpower. Really? Because of our thing? Everybody got it? That's a good bo bonus. Big boost. How are you, Milo? Hope you're doing well, baby. What are your plans for today? Oh no, Ganolf. Ganolf is here, that's right. <laughs> Ganolf is our. He does damage sometimes, I guess. I guess sometimes he does damage. Let's pierce some shots. Break down his defense. This guy shouldn't be able to get there? Yeah, he shouldn't be able to do much. Um, sniper attack? No, we can't snipe from here. Not that well, at least. Um... I think... I think that's risky. I think I'm gonna just do a sniper attack anyway from here. It'll be fine. We can waste it. And taking away some health is always worth it. Really? We'll hit Rook instead. That's fine, I guess. Um, I would really like to fuck this guy up. I'll be honest with you, chat room. I kind of want to use these two to just call the threat over here, I think. Because they shouldn't be super strong. Um, has anybody taken armor damage? Nope. Nobody's taken any armor damage. Um, you think I can do something? Where did this jewel come from? I could take it away. <laughs> I, I could take it away if you don't want it, Milo. I, I just gave I gave you a jewel because I thought it would be funny. I gave it to you yesterday. I gave it to you and Ramzo. Because I felt like it. About how deep that's about as deep as it goes. Shit. I almost like <laughs> I almost just ended my turn instead of fighting. I really need to get these guys down. Because he used no armor. Oh fuck. The problem is that I need to like kite this guy basically. This guy needs to be sniped at. This guy needs to be killed. Because I can't really pierce him down that much. I think maybe this will be worth it if we can battering ram, ram him back. We'll push him back. No. For three break? Three breaks better than one break. Yeah. Then I can destroy this guy. Can I get in range to shoot him? I can. But is that range for him to attack? It is range for him to attack. I don't want him to attack me. That's a problem. But I can get close enough, right? To like... I think I'm going to save my willpower for now. I'm going to take the shot and destroy the rest of this guy's armor. Just so Nid can guarantee a kill on him no matter what. Yeah, he's gonna... Holy fuck! I didn't think he'd be in range to do that. That's fine. Oh my god, I still have to move. He's still gonna have to move into range to fucking deal with this shit. I want her to kill him. I really do not want... 
want our dude to die, but he's gonna get one shot now, right? No. They really want to kill him. Cool. Um. Yeah, she has two, right? She has up to three. Yeah, she can spend. She can spend. I can take a kill here. But they really can't do much now that they've been damaged. They kind of just take up turns. Which works for me. He can cleave them too, right? When it becomes this turn. No, this guy's going to get a move. I mean, he could potentially kill my dude. Ugh, I hate putting her all the way in the front like this. Just to hit for like... She can spend three, right? Yeah. Hit for five. Destroy his fucking armor. His like damage potential. Hopefully this makes this decent. Oh no. Not the grenades. Um... I get a thing. I get lightning powers, right? Oh. Well. Not the best situation to be in. If I hit my boy, I won't hit my boy. Yep, we're just gonna spend it on him then. Reducing his potential damage is probably the best thing we can do. Okay. We can cleave, but it's gonna take us some damage here. But the cleave would be really, really good. That wouldn't net a double kill either. Yeah, we could safely cleave here. And it doesn't double kill. Unless we crit. Yeah. No double killing. But these guys basically have no damage output potential, so they can only armor break. Okay, what can we do with this guy? Okay, well, he's gonna... He's gonna move. No matter what. I think Ivor is gonna just give his life here. I really don't want him to die, but it's, it is what it is, basically. Can't really do much more than just try to kite him out a bit. Gotta destroy his, like... I have to destroy down his armor. Nid can probably, like, do a lot of damage to him. I think she's within range. Yeah, she, she's gonna fucking one-shot him, basically. Now he's a bitch. Oh, Alette's gonna take damage. That's not good. Poor Alette. Um, she just gets to kill at this range? I guess she, she, just, she just gets to kill. Cool. Get a kill. Go, girl. Get the kill. They really want to kill Jesus, don't they? Okay. Well then. Um, well, Jesus can kill them. Yeah, Jesus, just just kill him, Jesus. Get get rid of him. I'm not exactly sure how to like make the most use out of arc lightning. It's kind of weird. What did you do? I don't think he did any damage. Genolf. Murder. Oh. Murder. Plus two. Kill. This guy's like weaker than anything right now, basically. He's he's just dead. One shot. One shot territory. Nice. Who are you throwing stuff at? Um, I do want her to level, so. I like her a lot. I think she's really, really strong. <laughs> well, you're not paying $70 on that bid. Damn! Looks like I'm getting Breath of Fire for the SNES. <laughs> I kid. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. We're so here. Ivan, Juno, so what happened? Okay. I wasn't sure I'd ever see you again, Ivan. It's Hakan and Juno. Okay, holy shit. She smiles and they embrace. Ivan is completely taken aback, as though he doesn't dare believe she's even real. I'm sorry I couldn't make it to Sigholm. I ran into problems. We waited there for no reason. We waited there for no fucking reason. Ah! I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Okay, whatever. Problems, putting it lightly. There was a mile-wide canyon practically splitting the world in two over those hills. Couldn't, couldn't find a place to cross. Worse, Dredger practically falling out of it like blood from a wound. 
they're not coming from the north anymore. They're everywhere, we we noticed. Glad glad to see you made it out alive, Ivor. I take the others, didn't it? Hakan becomes quiet as he motions towards Juno. She got across somehow, found out found her out cold for a sec second time since leaving Strand. We need every axe we can get right now. Bellower is here. Gods be damned. I thought I was free of that menace. I will deal with Bellower. Come on. No need to tempt him by standing out here. She will deal with Bellower. Hakan's caravan enters the city. I love Hakan so much. He's back. Fighting off waves of dredge as they go. To try and... To your relief, hundreds of skilled warriors are now safely in Bjorsgaard. Oh, 280 Varl, they're here. All of their supplies, dude. Hakan's like the best army. Hakan joins you with his personal bodyguard, Mog, behind him. And the Prince Ludin and his entourage are in tow. Though look, looking less than pleased to be here. I have one last trip to make. I need this one to come with me. She says, pointing to you. I'm sorry, Ivan. We must. You must wait for me one last time. Do not let the city fall before I return. It takes everything within Ivan's power to hold back, but he does. She turns to you. Rook, come with me. We'll return in two days, maybe less if you're quick as you look. Tell anyone who needs to know. Where? Why? Not far, says Juno. She pauses, and something shifts in your vision for just a moment. I know it's hard, she says, her voice filling, filling your head. And you've already been through a lot, but as she speaks again, the rest of the world melts away. But you're needed. You can't find the words to argue. Oh god. She's a Jedi. The dredge are just gonna let us pass? You don't remember leaving the city, but here you are, walking through an unfamiliar ground behind Juno. You're alone, aside from hundreds of dredge, who are all facing towards an enormous stone ahead. The hairs on your back and and your neck stand up. Oh god. They don't even care. They're just looking towards the godstone. Fuck. Okay. Whose godstone is this? We're at the godstone of Stravos. You glance nervously around, but the dredge didn't seem to hear her. It's okay, you can speak softly. Is this where you're going to sacrifice me? Juno smiles. What could have come across a profoundly, as a profoundly creepy look, looks at sincere and said, No, the dredge cannot see us. To be more precise, they can see us, but I've convinced them to be unconcerned. I can understand your apprehension, though. I've got, like, hair in my mouth. Okay. Juno waits patiently for your reply. What are we doing out here? Do you know of the god of Stravas? Do you know the stone exists? Even amongst those who have lived their whole lives in Bjorsgard. While Dengler deals in fortune, Stravas taught men the value of trade in a different way. He showed them it has consequence, two sides of the same coin. See the silver in the stone? The gales up here wear away at the stone, but the metal remains. We need a piece of the silver. The god Stravas is wreathed by by imaginary by imagery of silver weapons. The myths say he traded these weapons to the gods. And they used to use them to kill each other. Those who seek out the stone call him the god of trade. The menders call him the god of secrets. He was both. Who are you? I wish we'd have the time for a proper introduction. My name is Juno and I'm the I am on the Mender Council. You met Ivan, my apprentice. How are you doing these things? Controlling minds? I thought menders were menders built things and healed wounds. You're right, menders do these things. Some of us still practice the teachings given to the Loom Mother's first creations. We are called Valka. I believe I am the only one who can influence another's mind. Then why not take care take control of Beller Bellower? I've learned the talent to heal minds, not control them. Though even some Valka have trouble believing this. Taking control of Bellower is, is 
it is the difference between convincing a child to sit still and telling a starving bear to stop being hungry. The truth is we're rarely a match for the Sunder anymore. Our advantage is that we can train more Valka. It is also our weakness. The Valka pass on and lose their knowledge, while the Sunder simply grow older and more powerful. Bellower is both immortal and beyond my influence to a point. Then how do we stop him? The God of Secrets will play part, as you as will you. Are we surrounded by dredge? They seem to be drawn to the Godstone. There are many things we don't know about Strabas. Maybe they see him as a patron, or as an attraction they cannot explain. Does Stravas have something to do with the serpent from Iontoff? What was that thing? I cannot say. Can't? have my suspicions, but until I have the Mender libraries, it would be unwise to speculate. For our knowledge, is it always seems as though we know very little. Imagine how the rest of us feel. On the contrary, the less people know, the more certain they tend to be. So why did you pick me? Why didn't you take Ivan? Or Hakan? Or you don't even know who I am. I apologize for putting you in danger. Ivan must keep Berskolf safe from falling while we are away. <laughs> and if something goes wrong here, I need to be certain that one of us makes it back alive. I saw the thoughts of each person when I arrived at Yosgard. You were the only one I knew would return. What do you mean? You would find your way back to Alet, no matter what. Oh, that's really cute. That's really fucking cute. She's like, you would fucking carve these motherfuckers to see your daughter again. No matter what. All these other people don't have the same willpower. That's a, that's kind of a fun way to like mix gameplay mechanics and story. I think it's really cool. Like, really cool. Okay, let's get to... Let's get what we need and go. Indeed. You'll need to dislodge at least a fistful of metal. We will forge it into an arrow to slay Bellower. Wait, after everything you've told me, Make a magic arrow to shoot Bellower? It's all it takes? Why didn't you do that a long time ago? Juno looks far away. And gets a far away look. It's a far away look in her eyes. No, that's not all it takes. What I tell you now must not be repeated. The arrow will, no, will not kill Bellower. Even if it were to strike his heart, he has no physical weaknesses. But it will sow, sow doubt in his mind. When it pierces him, I will help him believe that he is dying. The rest of you will convince him of it with sword and axe. Everyone who fights at your side must believe it to be true. You're going to trick him into thinking he's dead? That's the most insane. He really can't be killed? No. Someday he will awaken and realize he's not dead. I imagine he will be quite upset. First, we must make the arrow. Focus on the task at hand. She looks knowingly at the godstone, waiting for waiting for you to start climbing. Rook, I'm not certain how the dredge will react to you doing this. And behind us is a sudden drop, so be careful. Fuck. We could die. We need silver. We need to kill the werewolf, basically. <laughs> kind of a funny meme. Approaching the back of the stone, you start to climb, looking for a loose piece of silver of the silver vein. Even without looking on, out onto the dredge, you feel each sinister face watching you closely, held back only by Juno's influence. Panic races through your blood. Quickly, Try to quickly wrench out the nearest chunk, climb higher to where it may be easier to remove, go back and tell Juno, no, climb higher. As you climb, you can't help but notice the stony mask of the dredge lined up before the godstone, like worshippers before an idol. Just a glimpse nearly immobilizes you. Your hand rests on a piece of silver that comes away easily. The dredge do not react. Look for another piece. While you're here, you glance quickly around to see if there is any more low-hanging fruit. You're able to pry away another, smaller piece of silver or before your nerves give out. You nimbly descend to where Juno is waiting. Well done, she says. As you walk back through the dredge, their heads turn in unison to follow. The dread that lingers and the shaking in your hands does not subside for hours. Did we get back? We did. Okay. That's fucked. I got Strava's whetstone for that. 
You approach the gates of Bureau's Guard again. Relieved that they're still standing, it looks like like they took a beating while you were gone. Alette rushes to your side and throws her arms around you once you've crept through the gates. Juno smiles at the reunion and tells you, take this time with your daughter. Find a smith who can fashion an arrow from that silver. I have other things to which I must attend, but meet me on the walls once you are done. Shit, okay, to the crafters guild. It takes a while for you to finally find someone willing to craft an arrow for you. He eyes you suspiciously when you show him the silver, but shakes his head and gets started. Alette watches the smith's fire reflecting in her distant the smith's fire reflecting in her distant stare. Okay. That's kind of a weird sentence. I talked with Ivan a long time while you were gone. Oh, this is gonna be heartfelt, isn't it? He told me a lot about Juno. Is she really as powerful as she said? Maybe too powerful, as long as she's on our side. Dad, I think I know what's going to happen now. An arrow? She's going to make you shoot Bellower, isn't she? I don't know for sure. Come on, who else is going to do it? Ivor? Alette. I know where this is going. You're afraid of me dying. This isn't like before. We can't run this time. It's not what I... Let me do it. What? Why not? Because you think I'll get hurt? What do you do when Bellower comes straight for the person holding the only thing that can destroy him? Let me speak. Everything's changed. Skagor feels so long ago. It, it's, it's about half a year's away, yes. I'm not asking because I'm afraid of losing you. I'm not. I'm not afraid of anything anymore. Let me do it because you know I'm a better shot. I have a better chance of puncturing his armor. We only have one shot. I'm not a child anymore. I'm not just some girl. I am your daughter. <sighs> Fuck. I can do it. Once for once, let me decide what happens to me. I know you can do it. Take the arrow. Yeah, no, I'm letting her do it. I know she can do it. She smiles and takes your hand in hers. We'll survive this. I know we will. You sit by her side silently until the smith finishes his work. Fuck. I don't want her to die though too, man. Shit. Okay, Juno. There he is, Hakan, the boy. <laughs> Juno is in the middle of an animated debate as you approach with the arrow in your hand. There's little time left. Bellower knows we're here. Rather, he is waiting. Rather, he is waiting for more of his voice, for his voices, his voices, to arrive, or simply wants to starve us out first. I cannot tell, but he will not expect a direct attack. Is this a joke? How are we going to do that? I'll take a handful of warriors to face him. I can keep a small group hidden from sight. The rest of you will lead the charge from here. With luck, Bella will send his armies away from himself to meet you. What about the ravens? They must protest. They will not. I've arranged a task for them. Even if you make it to Bellower, what chance is there of defeating him? We saw what happened in Iron Toff. That thing can't be killed. Juno shows them the arrow you had forged from the Godstone Silver. This will make him bleed like the rest of us. Once he's pierced, he will be vulnerable. She looks you in the eyes. Don't, don't let them know our lie. <laughs> we only have one. Don't miss. And bring only those you absolutely need. It will take all my concentration to keep the other dredge from swallowing us up. I cannot join in battle. And if we kill Bellower, then what? The dredge will just wander away? That is my belief. I can't say that for certain. This is a doomed plan. Help us. Hold out here until the ships are finished. And then what? Bellower will hound our every step. All the way to Ardenburg. Where am... Where I am certain more sunder away. Shit. Even more? Now is the time to speak to loved ones. And the memory of any god that pleases you. Rest. In the morning, we slay us under. Fuck. Shit. The only option is Bellower. It's like, hey, Bellower's right here. 20% crit chance. That's wild. I can take Hakan, though, bros. We get Hakan. I really want Ludin to be more powerful. I really tried to train him a little bit. He's He's not a bad unit at all. He's really good, actually. We can bring the boy Hakan.
Hakan, dude. You bring Hakan. And Ivor. Ivor, the boy. Hakan, the other boy. Our big old big eye sniper. We have Yursa too. That's right. We had Yursa, the Siege Archer. Oh, dude. I'm so happy to see all my boys in one party. I'm so happy to see all of them. I still think I'm very edged towards this party particularly. I do like it at a lot. Um, Nid's going to take a ton to level herself up. Um, Honestly. Honestly. Just going to make her a stronger sniper with like more strength. I know. Kind of a dick move, but... He can have more armor. He needs it. He really is kind of like an armor breaker for the party. So I'm not going to stretch him too thin. Um, what does she have on her right now? It's like really simple, right? Yeah, it's plus one to everything. So we can give her... Crit chance could go crazy on her. Armor. Crit chance plus aggro. Yeah, let's, um, let's give her just crit, dude. Honestly. Give her big dick crit. This armor is very funny, but it gives him more aggro power. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, I'm stressed. Okay, let's fight Bellower. Let's go. The silence is what you remember. You rise in silence and walk through the enemy empty streets. Upon the walls, two armies stand quietly watching each other. Your footsteps echo on the wooden floorboards as you approach. Juno, she breaks the silence. It's time, Juno says. Gather your allies. Today, one thing will end. Another will begin. And our actions will decide on which side we stand. Our actions? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Our actions will decide where we stand? What do you mean, Juno? He's right there. <laughs> He's right there. God. Still your fear. Listen, I will try to guide you. Thanks. Like, I'll be honest. I think best choice is to just wait a turn, right? For most people. And start to flood in as we go. Um, yeah, you can only go, like, you go forward, like, a step. That's it. I don't feel comfortable making you move any further. Holy fuck. That's right. You must break through his armor. I, yeah, I will. Bitch, I know. Bitch, I've been playing this game for a while. I know what I probably gotta do to get through it. Um, shit. At least we have a mender in our party. That can make this a little bit more practical. I'm gonna have to kill everybody though, I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't think I should, um... You know. She has, like, massive crit chance, right? Let's just, um... Kill him with a crit, right? It didn't work. I was praying for it. Okay, it's fine. Well, we're, we'll, regain, we'll regain his strength. I mean... I'm not diving my whole party back there, dude. What do you want out of me? The fuck do you want, dude? Bellower will regain his strength. Yeah. I get it. Like... Of course, he's gonna regain his strength. It's, you know, unfortunately, it's all, it's all we have. We gotta, we gotta kill some of these guys so they don't kill our guys as we try to get in there. I start doing work. Oh no, did it get stunned on a hit there? That's unfortunate. Um. Hakan can hit for like eight though. Oh, here he comes. Keep the archers safe. Fuck. I 
I should not have done that. Like he, oh, he was willpower locked. That's what that icon means. That doesn't mean he was. Oh well, it's fine. It's, it's fine, I guess. Okay, I don't get enough piercing damage here. Um, break him. Alette can't die. You have to be very careful with. Oh, she has silver. Oh, she's silver arrow. That's her ability. Okay. <laughs> I was about what's what silver arrow to gets killed instantly. That'd be pretty funny, I think. Okay, cool. This should make sure Hakan won't die. Oh, he just didn't care about Hakan at all. That was really nice. I mend. Who can we mend the armor on? We can give Hakan a little bit. Let him stay strong. Oh god, he's gonna attack our girly pop. That's not fair. Ivor's gonna approach. Pierce through that armor. Hakan can kill this guy, but yeah, Hakan can just kill him. It's fine. This guy at 10 HP is not the worst. Hakan's definitely are. Our muscle. Oh, fuck. Be quick, I can't hold them back for long. I can't. You're not really holding them back. Nine? Do you think nine will be enough? I think I can hit a body shot on him in two turns. So the silver arrow should be able to be a thing that we can use. Yeah. You can hit him for seven. I can hit him for fucking seven damage. will also deal seven damage. I think I have to destroy his armor though first. I think that's the important thing, right? Oh no, he took damage. Okay. He died? Oh, he didn't die. Okay. Thank God. Does Silver Arrow have the same range as regular bow attack? Dude, I'm not going to chance it. I'm going to take the extra... The extra little little thing. Silver arrow. Okay, hit him with it. Yeah, so hit chance is 100%. So I can... Did I win? Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, I could have just killed him. My, oh god, I wonder if I could have. Now he's wounded. Will retaliate when immediately when struck. Fuck. Like, dude. I lost my girl. She's dead, right? He says something. They say something about like being able to possibly save her, I guess. But like, dude, does this fucking hurt or what? This can cost three. I'm gonna save as much as I can. Oh, I want to kill him. I want to kill him. I want to kill everything that I can. Fuck.
Pierce that armor. I can destroy his armor. Get through to him. Shit. Does not help anybody. Will respond to every strike that I do. Dude, it's just like I don't have like a heavy enough armor to deal with his 18 strength. Like in all honesty, I just don't have enough armor to deal with that shit. No. Absolutely not. We're gonna do as much damage as we can to make him as useless as possible. There's no way. Bellower seems to have extra turns too. This guy's gonna give everybody plus three strength back. Which I guess is fine. How much piercing damage does Hakan do? Hakan, Hakan can minus three somebody. He gets a minus nine on his turn, but he's willpower locked. He's gonna do minus six, it's fine. It's fine, I want Hakan to do something here. Minus five is fine. Just willpower lock this. Please, no! Shit, I'm fucked. How am I supposed to win this now? I can start killing all my boys now because we're out of position. Shit, dude. Yeah, everybody got strength back too now. Bullet can hit him for eight though. Do it. Do it, Nid. Hit him for as much health as we possibly fucking can. I don't care. Make him bellow. Make him stun. Make him angry. I don't care. Oh my god. <gasps> Big crit. She's not gonna die to him. I can't hit him though. Or can I? I can't. There's no way I can hit him. But she gets a fucking turn. Oh my god. Wait a minute. She gets a fucking turn though. Shit. He's got no HP though, right? So he shouldn't be able to hit back for a lot of damage. But this guy can hurt me. I think I can kill. Guaranteed kill. Okay. Okay, is that it? Get to clean up. I think that's it. Oh my god. Let's fucking go, dude. Holy shit. Let no. Where where's the menders? Rook, she is beyond their help. Stand up. You're only barely able aware of the surrounding chaos as dredge flee from the Varl warriors who push their advantage. Bellower is dead. You are not. We must go. Let me carry a let to Bjorsgard. We'll honor her properly. No way. Juno was right. With Bellower fallen, the dredge flee the field of battle. You return to Bjorsgard, but have almost no memory of doing so. Aside from the image of a let still body being carried in carried in Ivor's arms. No, dude, there's no way. There's no way she's dead. So we should have the time. So we should have the time. We need to finish the steps. I think you're right. The dredge don't seem interested in us anymore. Since Bellower fell, they've gone their own way. The ravens have been keeping the docks clear. Juno's talking to them about something new. When those longships are ready, we'll be able to sell our, sail our way to Ardenburg. With luck, before the darkness shows up here. How far south is it? has it spread? I couldn't say. Hopefully not far. We'll get the prince back to his home, and Hakan has already decided to come with us. There's not much else we can go back to. 
The two look up as you approach. Rook, it's time. Soon we'll be ready to leave your guard. Find somewhere safe. One ship is done. Already at the docks. I had it prepared for a let. Not ready to see this. Come, Rook. It's time to honor your daughter. No, dude. Really? Fuck, dude. Oh man, you hate to see it. I should have taken that arrow. Bro, we're broken people. Uh, man. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of can't believe it. Fuck you know, dude. I'm like just sorry, I'm at a loss for words. I have like nothing to say. I'm upset. That's what's going on. I'm upset. Town. Oh, the boat's glowing. We're going to Valhalla, baby. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, the trees are cute. Damn. Like, really fucking cute. Oh, dude, that was so good. That was so fucking good. I'm upset. I'm so upset. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so upset. <laughs> oh, man. Like, actually, I'm just so upset. But that was such a good game. That was really fun. I know there's, like... I think, from what I remember reading, there's three games in the series, right? And the next game has, um... I think I carry over my save from this game to the next game, so I get to, like, kind of continue the journey from where I was. I am... I'm so curious as to, like, what could have changed. I feel like... I'm so upset that she died. She was my best unit, too. I really... I was so attached to her. I was so attached to her. I'm so sad she's gone. <laughs> I'm so fucking sad. It was a cool... It was a good character death, though, for sure. It was her moment to play, and it's her moment to do it. <sighs> it's just... It's so heart... It's so heartbreaking. It's so heartbreaking to see her go. And then, my, my team's so broken, man. It was such a tough journey, and all of that just to kill one of them. All of that to just kill one, and apparently wherever we're going is going to have so many more of them. Jesus Christ. That was intense. That end, that The whole, like, last two hours have been incredibly intense. The whole, like, this whole game is just... Wow. I love the writing. I love the writing. I love the design of this game. I love... The combat could have been a little bit better, I think. It could have been a little bit more well-designed. But I love the roleplay options. I love losing characters from different options and having different outcomes. I was very happy that some of the outcomes changed to be different. I thought that was really cool. Like, I kept Kramer. Even though I didn't think Kramer was going to stay. I thought Kramer was going to go. 
I lost some other characters. I lost my character, my my dad's, like my character's son died because of probably a roleplay option. I've lost Fistolt on a roleplay option, I think, too. And I mean, fuck Fistolt. I wasn't. He's he's a Khan's boy. He wasn't, you know, Rook's boy. But yeah, this was this was fucking something, dude. I'm happy I finally finished this game and like got through it. I've had this on my list of things I've been wanting to finish for like forever. And I haven't seen many people like I haven't seen many people talk about this game outside of when it initially released. I know a lot of people like it, but I didn't fan. I haven't seen anybody make their, you know, nostalgia. <laughs> Nostalgia, funny, you know, remember Banner Saga video yet? I haven't seen that yet. And I'm I'm so happy I finally decided to like go through this game. Oh my god. Like every character was so interesting. Every character was cool. Every choice felt like I had to keep thinking about what I wanted to do and the outcomes that could happen. And things constantly went right and con things constantly went wrong. Having to survive and like making bad decisions on like how I spent my renown was also very intense. Oh. I can just like scroll through this. Still gonna play it, so you're barely paying attention. I don't think I honestly think the um the choices that you make you'll probably have a different like playlist. You'll have a different like playthrough than I do. Like I don't, I don't think you'll have an identical playthrough of mine at all. That was, you're probably Milo's probably gonna end up like killing everything on accident. <laughs> Milo's, Milo ain't a bitch. Can I just like scroll down? There's so many pay, so many ba Kickstarter backers. Okay. Normal difficulty complete. Get permission to destroy a, a Yarl landmark. Oh yeah, so that was our other. Our other thing, Raldity. What is this? Oh, the backers were able to make their little crest. That's cool. Is there anything else that I have here? No, I think this is it. It's just join our Discord and stuff. Okay. Damn. This is probably the first time I played the game. Yeah, 2016 when I played the game for the first time. I only got 21 days in. Profile 3 over here. 136 days. Oh shit. Fuck, dude. How far it keeps the saves from the very beginning. I could I could start from anywhere. That's oh dude. That's so cool. I could start from any point that I felt like, you know, where I might want to restart. Oh, that's so fun. That's so cool. Okay. Awesome. That's going to conclude all the gaming stuff for the stream, guys. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that's that's all I had in store for today. I didn't have any, like, secret plans. I had nothing cool going on other than Banner Saga, which was fucking awesome. By the way, highly recommend after playing that. Holy shit. The ending got me, like, I was worked up. I was ready to fucking cry, dude. Like, I just, I, I was choked up for sure. I was not not okay by the end of that i was i was so done